In less than two weeks, the country will usher in a new taxation system in the form of value-added tax. And as government forges ahead with its consumption-based tax structure, a New Zealand expert is telling RCS Gradley that the country is moving in the right direction. Come January 1st, when value-added tax is implemented, consumers could expect some prices to go up. But a significant reduction in the custom duties exemptions, for the most part, should offset those increases. Since his first visit to the Bahamas in April, New Zealand VAT expert Dr. Don Brash says the government has done a tremendous job in its VAT preparation, being able to reduce the rate drastically from 15% to 7.5%. Back in April, when Mr. Sherwin and I were here, the government at that point was contemplating introduction on October 1. We felt that that was going to be an impossible challenge. Uh, we suggested January 1 was the most optimistic estimate and April 1 might have been better. I think the government's done a very good job indeed in getting ready for a January 1 introduction. The business community is by and large very much aware of the tax. They know they have some responsibilities. Uh, well over 4,000 people applied to register and the government has done a very good job in getting those registrations actually through the system. The expert says he could be back in February. During that period, larger businesses will be filing their VAT returns. It'll be interesting to see whether businesses are able to, to cope with that process in, uh, in February. The, the, the VAT department has put out some very good material explaining to companies how they fill in a VAT return. And I think for most accountants, certainly, that'll be a straightforward exercise. I'm hoping also that uh, more prominence will be given to the so-called cash accounting option, which smaller companies can use, because that's a very, very simple process. Uh, in New Zealand, I myself use the cash accounting system for my own small business. And it makes it very easy for small businesses who don't uh, often employ a full-time accountant. Dr. Brash said he is also impressed with what he has seen over the last three weeks, especially the registration process. The foreign expert is currently preparing a report to be submitted to Financial Secretary John Roll with suggestions he believes will make it even easier for businesses to comply with the new tax regime. The reality is that the VAT tax is designed to increase revenue, partly to offset the reduction in customs duties, but partly also to bridge the gap between what government is spending and what it's taking in a tax revenue now. So one way or another, uh, Bahamians will be paying a little more tax in total. But I think the government's introducing the tax at a moderate level, 7.5%. That's quite a lot less than the rate applying in most other countries which have a VAT system. While it may be too early to tell the exact impact that VAT's implementation will have next year, Dr. Brash says it's still the best option for the country. Siaska Adderley, ZNS Network News.